Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, and we are on lesson 14-3. And today we are going to build and draw 2D shapes. So I know you guys have done that a million times. We draw all of these kinds of shapes anytime uh, we're doing our art or anything like that. So um, you should have no problem with this. And you're going to be using some things around your house as well. Um, our lesson objective for today I can, your turn, use different materials to make shapes. That's it. We're just going to be using different materials to make shapes now that we know what those shapes need to look like, like how many sides they have, how many uh, vertices they have, what their sides need to look like, if they're equal or they're different. Here, we're going to use items your teacher or your parent <laughs> gave you to make two different rectangles tell what makes each shape a rectangle. So I have something that you guys probably all have. I know Eli has them. We have some Legos and I can make a rectangle here with these Legos. And there's one rectangle, has two long sides, long, long, and two short sides, short, short. I could also make a rectangle, let's see if that'll stay on my paper, <laughs> with some markers. Let's try this. Take the lids off. The lids are going to be my short sides, and the marker is my long side. Oh, Got to make sure it's not rolling around. So I have long, long, short, short. I gotta make sure they're connected because a rectangle is a closed shape, right? So there's no holes in my shape. So I have a rectangle, long, long, short, short, and another rectangle over here, smaller one. Let's see if I can get it to stay. Oh no, my pink's going away. And then I have my rectangle here, long, long, short, short. And these are just things that I have at my house. I'm sure you guys have similar things that you could use. I would love to see what you make your shapes out of. Um, but I know that these are rectangles because they have two long sides and two short sides. So they have four sides all together. They have one, two, three, four vertices. Even though they're different sizes and different colors, that doesn't matter because they have four sides, four vertices, and two of those sides are long and two are short. So I wanna see what you can do with your rectangles because we're going to be doing a whole bunch more shape making on the next couple of pages. So here, um, use materials, not that your teacher gives you because I'm not there, um, to make a square. So you can also cut something out and glue it or tape it into the box. Um, you could just do it with something that you can move, um, like I can do it with my marker caps. One, two, three, four sides. There's my four sides, there's four corners, and I know all my sides are the same because these are all the same marker cap, they're just different colors. Okay, so even though a square and a rectangle both have four sides and four vertices, the difference is that the rectangle has different size sides, long and short, and a square has all the same. All the sides on a square are equal. Okay, so here they show some of the materials like toothpicks or popsicle sticks, paper, scissors, pencil, um, and you have to think about how your shape looks. How many sides does it have? How many vertices does it have? A triangle that he wants to make has three sides and three vertices. So he uses, it looks like some um, straws or like pipe cleaners, and he makes his triangle. It has three sides and three vertices. Are they the same color? Nope. Are they facing the same way? Nope. Are they the same size? Not really, but it doesn't matter because they have three sides and three vertices. So he knows that even though it looks a little different, the shape has three sides and three vertices. It is still a triangle. Okay. So make your square in this box here. You can make a circle over here. Like I have a hair tie. <laughs> There's my circle and then a rectangle here. Okay. Here, Carlos made the shapes below, and he says they're both squares. Your job is to tell me, is he correct? And you have to give me the reason why you think, yes, he is correct, or no, he is not correct. 
Okay, so this math lesson should hopefully go pretty quick. Um, and you're doing the same thing over here, except for this time they're giving you some clues. Sandy makes a closed shape with four equal sides. So what shape did she make? You're gonna write the name of it and draw it here. Miguel makes a closed shape with three straight sides and three vertices. What shape did Miguel make? Okay, so you can use box, paper, scissors, um, whatever you have at your home, and you can make the shapes on these two pages, and then here you can just draw the shapes. Okay, um, same thing on your homework and practice. Do 14-3. Make a triangle, make a square, but don't forget to tell one thing about it. Like a triangle has three sides or a square has same size sides. Okay, so here they made a popsicle stick with, or a rectangle with popsicle sticks, a circle with strings, and they said a circle has zero sides and vertices. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So these are opposite from each other, they're the same size. These are opposite from each other, they're the same size. Okay. So you can use any materials you have at home. Complete all the way to page 764. And then tomorrow, Thursday, we will do lesson 14-4. All right. I will see you guys or talk to you guys another time. And I will see you guys later today on Zoom. Bye, guys.